Hey everybody, this is Josh with Down to the Roots, and this video is going to be a just an introduction to the little comparison experiment that I've been doing with some seed starting mixes I've been making. Now the first seed starting mix I'm using is my original mix that I've been making with Ocean Forest Potting Mix. I've got a video on it if you want to check it out. And the other seed starting mix I'm using is the same ratio as the other, but instead of using Ocean Forest Potting Mix, I'm using my homemade vermicompost. Now the whole point of this experiment isn't really to make a seed starting mix better than the original one I've been using because the one I've been using has worked really good for the last few years now and grows really great peppers, tomatoes, just everything I start to put out in my garden. But it is more or less to make one that is comparable to it, if not better. That way it cuts my cost. It's somewhat expensive to make the Ocean Forest mix because I have to buy the really good quality potting mix. But my vermicompost is completely free, so it's going to cut my cost down by probably about 80%. So, I've basically got a few different plants here that I'm starting the experiment with. And I've got a few cups each of each type of seed starting mix. But let me bring you in a little closer and I'll kind of explain the setup and just why I chose plants I've used and all that good stuff like that. Okay, like I said... The comparison is between two different types of seed starting mix. The first one is my original mix that I've been making for several years now. It is a mixture of one part coconut cora, one part ocean forest potting mix, and one half part perlite. The second mixture I'm using is a mixture of one part coconut cora, one part homemade vermicompost, and one half part perlite. I use the same exact mixing ratio, the same coconut cora, and the same perlite to make the two. So the only difference in them is the potting mix in one and the vermicompost in the other. Like I said, I'm not trying to make one that is better than my original because it does really good. I'm just trying to make one that is comparable. That way I can cut down on my cost for seed starting mix. But what I've done is I have six cups each of each type of plant. I have three cups with my original mix. I have three cups with my vermicompost mix. I chose three because I feel like that gives me a good comparison of how good the mixes are. If I had done just one or maybe two plants per seedling mix, I wouldn't have known if it was the soil itself that made certain plants do bad or good or if it was the genetics of the plant. So I feel like three is going to give me a good comparison without taking up too much space. But what I've done here is I have kale, cucumbers, and tomatoes. I chose these three different types for a reason. The kale is part of the brassica family, which includes your broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kales, a bunch of other plants like that that you would normally put out into your garden. The cucumbers is part of the cucurbit family, which includes all of your cucumbers, melons, um, squashes, all, all kinds of plants like that that you would normally put out into your garden. And the tomatoes is part of the nightshade family, which includes your tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and potatoes, other plants like that that you would normally put out into your garden. So I feel like those three gives me a good range of the plant types that people normally plant in their garden so i know how good the soil does for one and how good it does for the other and all that but what i did was i filled each cup up leaving about an inch from the top i put four kale seed in each cup three cucumber seed in each cup and two tomato seed in each cup and what i'm going to do is once they get a little bit bigger I am going to thin them down so there's just one plant per cup and I'm going to fill them up the rest of the way with the seed starting mix that they're in. Now I know on tomatoes that helps them to grow more roots and get a better root system because they will grow roots off their stem and the same thing with the cucumbers. A kale I don't know if it will but I know it does help to plant them a little bit deeper than they are originally started. So that's pretty well the experiment, but so far it has been about 10 days since I have started all these. They've sprouted good, but the only difference I have noticed in the two soils so far is their germination rates. As you can see with the cucumbers in the vermicompost mix, there is fewer 
that has popped up per cup as there has been in the original mix and with the tomatoes they was a little bit slower in the vermicompost mix but they're still good and healthy and they did germinate so that's not really a big difference so far i mean once they get bigger we might be able to tell when the color they are how big they grow how quick they grow how good the root system looks because i did do it in clear cups that way you can see their root system i don't know if you can see that little tomato root coming through or not but we'll be able to get just a overall idea of how good the two different mixes are so i know if it is worth buying the ocean forest potting mix or if i can save that money and put it in buying seeds or fertilizers or something like that but that's pretty well the experiment i will do a video about weekly or bi-weekly just depending on how they grow and just keep you updated on it but thank you for watching and just stay tuned and subscribe if you like this video and just if you got any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment box below just thank you for watching have a good day